Okay, and here we are, continuing on the theme of crap that Alyssa has. She needs to find somewhere to store it. Uh, okay, a lot of you guys know I have an Etsy shop. It has been sadly not kept up. Because that's the way I do. I start things, I get very enthusiastic, and then I'm just, I kind of move on to something else. That's what I do. It's terrible. It's a habit I'm always working on trying to break. But it's a difficult one to break because I've always done it. So, lawnmower outside. Yay. So, I put some things back up in my Etsy. I thought I would try again to do the whole Etsy thing. And while I was just wandering aimlessly around Etsy, because I love to do that, and it makes me sad that I don't have money to buy everything that I want, because <laughs> I find a lot of cool stuff, especially, well, I find a lot of great original art, and there'll be prints, and I often want some of that stuff, um, but also, the, you know, the vintage stuff. <laughs> I'm mad for the vintage stuff. Homemade things are great, too but the vintage stuff really got me the other day and I was looking at collections that people had put together of uh, some of their favorite sellers and you know themed like all vintage red vintage things for the kitchen and um, stuff like that and so I, I would then follow and go look at what else they had for sale and look at what they had already sold trying to get an idea of what sells when it comes to vintage stuff because I have a lot of vintage stuff around here that, that I pick up at yard sales or whatnot not really quite my style or not my style anymore and I would like to you know get a little money back for them and give them to a good home and all that stuff so um, I decided last weekend when I ended up with these two little owls uh, from a thrift store I paid 50 cents a piece for them I love them especially the little wooden one he cracks me up they both crack me up they're adorable I uh, got them for Etsy because I know that um, a lot of young women are mad for a lot of the 70s stuff now. It's kind of a 70s revival, and they love the um, the owls, like toadstools and birds and, and butterflies and things, but especially the owls because they are just so dang cute. Like, there's something about owls that have kind of a cat quality to me. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I popped those. I was going to pop them up on my Etsy, and I put the first one up, no problem. The second one... I went through all the trouble of writing the description and doing all of that and posted it, but it just never showed up, and I was really frustrated. I thought, well, gosh, you know, while looking around at other people's shops, the shops that I liked the best and the ones that I noticed had the most traffic and that sold a lot were the ones that had a very unified theme, whether it be their own paintings, which all kind of, you know, have a similar look because it's by the same artist. Or be it, you know, maybe somebody sells all sewing things, old vintage fabrics and sewing supplies, or they sell all uh, things to make jewelry with, or whatever, you know, where it's a theme. Well, mine's not a theme. Mine's just here, there, and everywhere. Um, it's pretty much been all just stuff that I make, but it, there's nothing cohesive there. It's just whatever I feel like making, and I toss it in there. Um, it's just not, I don't know. It's not what I want it to be. So, I decided that I would take my owls and start a new account. I still have the old one, Mama Loves Mambo. But now I also have Mama Loves Vintage. And that's, I'm not asking you guys to go buy anything. I'm not. Um, if you want to, that's fine. Go look. Don't buy. Buy. Whatever. I can work up some uh, traffic elsewhere as well. Um, so, I put one of the owls up over there. I'm going to switch the other one over there. And... And looking around, I found that a lot of the things that sold were sort of kitchenware from the 70s, too. A lot of things that have sort of uh, that, that Scandinavian, what do they call it, Danish modern, like the Danish modern look. Um, and lots of the ugly little mugs that I, like, talked my mom into getting rid of a long time ago, saying, oh, my God, Mom, they're so ugly. They're so 70s. Get rid of these things. And I wish I had them because I could sell them on Etsy. And I see these things at thrift stores and yard sales a lot. And I don't get them because even though now maybe I look at them and I see the charm in them because they're old enough now that, that that it's removed from the actual era a little bit from the era. And, um, and I can see them as being cute or kitschy because they're so old. But they're not really my style, so I don't get them. Um, but now I think I'm going to start getting that stuff and put it up in my Mama Loves Vintage. And... Um, so today I had the itch. I got the itch last night. 
and I decided actually that I would get up this morning. I was going to get up early, but then I didn't get up early. I got up at like 11, but still got dressed, showered, dressed, and got out of here. Mom didn't want to go with me, so I was like, that's fine. I will go by myself. Uh, I thought surely there would be lots of people set up because of being a holiday weekend, even though it's a Monday and that's not ever a traditional day for yard sales. I thought I'll stop at flea markets, there'll be yard sales, there'll be people pulled up with their big trucks where they just sit in a corner of a parking lot and put out tables and all their crap and just keep bringing it out of the van and putting it up on the tables. I love those sales. Those are great because people don't think that their crap's worth a million dollars. Some yard sales I go to, I'm amazed the prices they put on things. Chipped up, nasty old stuff you get for a quarter anyplace else. And they think it's great because it's theirs. And they get hoity-toity with you if you try to talk them down. I don't like those people. Um, but I went out and I found really nothing. Everything was closed. The flea markets were closed. And... Um, it was disappointing, but I noticed some signs that were yard sale signs. Followed a lot of them, found nothing because the yard sales were over with. Uh, also, we have this humongous, humongous craft fair in Prairie Grove called the Prairie Grove Clothesline Festival, I think. And it's a big craft fair, and there's stuff to eat, and there's uh, all kinds of hillbilly entertainment, and and it's a pretty big deal. And um, and people usually will take advantage of the traffic coming in for that and set up yard sales and such and people were smart they would have had them today as well because the fair was still going in full force today let me tell you I got stuck in the traffic um, but I did find a couple of garage sales and I got some cool stuff and I thought I'd show you because I know some of you enjoy seeing what I pick up um, yeah so one of the things I really like the most I found down in a box of just junky garbage it's this wonderful little clock it's electric. It seems to keep really good time. I tested it for about an hour. And uh, I figure it's 60s, kind of that French provincial stuff that was in vogue. I think that's kind of what, what that is. I don't know if you can see all of it. Um, it's a little GE clock. I've looked around trying to find something like it. I can't find anything like it. Maybe if I can find a model. Yeah, there's a model number. I'll see if I can look that up and actually find it somewhere. But it's electric. <laughs> Old original cord. Careful. Um, I know it's not even cracked or anything. It's, it looks pretty good. And I got a great price on it. And I thought I could probably sell it for 10 bucks on Etsy. And then I stopped. We have this um, flea market antique mall kind of place in Prairie Grove called Daisies and Olives. It's real nice if you come through Prairie Grove, Arkansas. It's down on the um, kind of the main street. Well, I forget what street it is. It's many years since I've lived here. I can't keep the street names. Um in order but it's the kind of the old downtown area it's a very short little street um, but it's in there it's in a wonderful old building it's huge you can look around for probably an hour and a half easily and I don't know if there are people associated with daisies and olives or if they just got permission to set up or what but there's old antique furniture and um, tables full of stuff and so I looked around I gotta get this sticky off of here alcohol should do that I found this little ashtray that I thought was darling darling and if that isn't an Etsy item I don't know what is fat little birds could be owls could be partridges I don't know it looks very clean like it's never been used and it's got like this red around the trim on the sides of it cute fat little birds I got these glasses I think these came out in the 70s <clears throat> I could be wrong I'm gonna do a little research and see I've seen them before I've been to people's houses that had them. They're just fun little barware. These are in really good condition. They have the gold around the lip, and it's pretty much intact. There's a few scratches, but it says Roaring Twenties, and then it has like all these. Let me see if I can get a little little focus going on. It has these characters, kind of from from the Silent Era, and. That's kind of empty um, movie frame. It says Raymond Nav Navarro. I don't really know who that is. I feel ashamed. Mary Pickford. Harold Lloyd. I know two out of three of those. And then there's a second one, and it's a little different. Douglas Fairbanks. Um, Charlie Chaplin. It's weird that on their pictures. Oh, wait a minute. The pictures are on the in inside? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's odd. If you look inside... There are their photos. Oh, that's weird. I didn't notice that. 
there are their photos and it says the name of how do, oh if you block the light you can see it real well like well you can see it really well on cam but in person you can't and it will say like past Douglas Fairbanks the mark of Zorro 1920 the gold rush of 1925 for the Charlie Chaplin anyway you get it fun barware if you're a movie buff or you like stuff from the 20s or whatever and I'm going to see if maybe I can get maybe $6 for two of them. Something like that. Maybe $5 plus postage. We'll see.